When making the plan for your garden, think about diversity in the broadest sense. Think about plant diversity, but also think about what other features you can include that provide food, water, and shelter for birds and wildlife year-round. We're here today looking at a freshly planted garden about three weeks ago, consisting almost entirely of native species. We know our neighborhoods in many urban areas are dominated by lawns, and they're really biological deserts, especially of things like birds, amphibians, and many insects. A garden like this, which doesn't take long to install, can make a very big difference in a short amount of time. And within another year, this will be a thriving community, which will be wonderful uh, support for birds, pollinators, and many other wildlife that may want to visit your backyard. Different bird species prefer different habitats throughout their life cycle. Some species prefer to nest in the ground, some prefer to forage on the shrubs, and some prefer to sing in the very tall trees. So increasing the complexity of the structural diversity of your garden is beneficial for many bird species. As you can see, I'm standing in a pretty shaded location in our garden. Many gardeners view shade as a bit of a constraint when it comes to having a diversity of plants in their garden. In fact, if you think about shade like you would in a forest system, it can offer great opportunity. Forests develop structurally in layers. So you have the overstory canopy of the larger trees, then you get a layer of smaller shrubs and small trees, and then you can get a lot of diversity along the ground in the ground cover. So all those layers provide foraging areas for birds. They allow gardeners to bring in new species and take advantage of what can be a really wonderful opportunity. One of the things you might not think about in your bird garden are things like leaving piles of brush or having lots of leaf litter. The leaf litter is great throughout your garden because it acts as a natural mulch, but it's also a spot where things like sparrows and towhees can feed and all sorts of birds will use the cover and shelter of brush piles throughout the seasons. When thinking about adding complexity or diversity to your bird or nature friendly garden, Think about things that aren't as heavily manicured, like this dust bath that many species will use, including clearly wild turkey. Be creative, add some stumps or logs into your garden. If you've got a tree that's snapped off, maybe it's not aesthetically that pleasing, but perhaps it's a future home for a screech owl or some other wildlife. If you have a large enough property, you could actually have trees that provide natural nest cavities for a variety of different species like woodpeckers specifically. And if not, you can actually put up birdhouses or nest boxes for chickadees or woodpeckers or other species. 